Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're going to keep moving on this one here. Uh, well, since the last time you guys seen it, look, it's sitting back on wheels now. So uh, we got that part of it fixed. What about these wheels that go up here? Remember that one sat there and ran like that? Well, I've got the crank straight. It was this side over here is what was bent, and it started just outside of our main bearing. Total run out was a hundred and I think thirty eight thousandths. So we're well over well shit, I guess if you look at it, it's over an eighth of an inch. So I mean when you get it out, you know, the size of this flywheel, I mean it's really rocking back and forth. So but we've got it back in here. Let's uh I'll get the crank put back in and we won't worry about putting the timing gear back on, but let me get the crank put back in. We'll slide our flywheels on and we're going to check and see how we did. We have our crank back in, our rods hooked back up, and uh, well, I guess it's time to we'll put this outside flywheel on first. And then I'll get my hand out of your way and we'll do the one here in the front. And no, we're not going to drive our gib keys in tight. We'll just get them in there and get them snug. Now we'll get this side on. We'll turn it over and I'll get it spun around so we can take a look and see what our run out really is. On the lathe, it was how, oh, if it was two thousandths, that was being generous. So, I mean, we've we got her pretty well knocked in, just about dead nuts on. So, all right. We don't have our cam gear put on there so I'll hold our intake valve open that looks good from this side let's get it turned around you guys can take a look at it there how that be I'll hold the intake in I think we're in business fellas so, what's next on this? We've got our axle fixed. <clears throat> We've got our crankshaft fixed. And uh, I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but this was the, well, here's the remains of what was the oiler that was on top of it. And the brass is still good, but the glass is broke, not a big deal. And I looked at replacing the oiler buying you know one that actually functions i took this off and that oiler does nothing anyways it's just decorative so i guess we can fix that one we'll put a new screw in there and we'll cut a piece of glass to fit in there so yeah i don't know what the point of having that on there i'm thinking about drilling the cylinder and actually putting a, a functioning lubricator on it but let me get this thing, let's get it back in time. Um, we'll see what we have for compression. You know, I'm really happy with how th this all turned out. I mean, it was one of those things that we've got to fix it. So, and we did, it's nice and true again. So, um, you get all this stuff cleaned off. We'll flip it up on its back. Now that we've got flywheels and everything on it, we're gonna take a look and see what we have underneath of here for an ignition system. Get all this cleaned up well this is the belly of it it has a massive ignition coil uh, we get a resistor here and we look on the side of it we got a terminal here for ground a terminal for 12 volt and a terminal for 6 volt so I guess we have options I've never seen a ignition coil quite like that. I'm not sure what it's out of, but well, I guess when the time comes, we'll all get to see if it works, right? So, yeah, pretty impressive. All right, let me get it back on its wheels and we'll keep moving on this. Back up on its wheels. Um, I guess, now, I'm not going to hold this up, but I can almost see how this rear axle got broke. I can't explain how this got damaged, but 
this trunk isn't quite big enough because it'll stay there this is way overweight and not balanced very well so all right get this flywheel back off we'll start getting it back in time and go from there i think next we ought to get this thing all cleaned up but come on you guys want to hear it run too don't you i sure do all right let me get going okay guys well i have wires hooked up to the other side and you know we've got a a two cell lipo here so we're going to run it on the 12 volt side even though we're only getting 11 volts out of it so let's get our spark plug out we'll get this hooked up we'll see if we have ignition easy access to the spark plug cute little spark plug all right. If you guys can tell, I'm pretty excited about this. Hopefully, well, damn it. We still have our gap. Find a spot to ground this. All right, well, let's see if we can let the smoke out of this. Hopefully not. The ignition system is powered up. I'm going to turn it over. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Oh, we got a spark. We got a good spark. Let's see what, where it fires at. All right, here's top dead. It's a buzz box. And we're firing just before top dead. So, yeah, we got a, a buzz coil underneath here. That's, <laughs> I'm impressed. All right, well, we'll put just a little bit of oil down in our cylinder. We don't know how long it's been since this has been ran. So we'll put just a little bit of three and one down in there to lube our cylinder up. That thing's like a welding arc. <laughs> I'll pull you guys up here. We'll make it fire so you can see it. Pretty impressive. You guys see that uh, plug gap? Well, I don't think we have to worry about having a weak spark. That's pretty impressive. Get you guys back out and uh, I guess we'll go from here. Unplug this ignition system. I don't want to get bit by this one. We'll put our plug gasket back on. And get that down in here. I don't know that we're going to fill the tank up, but we'll give it a good prime of fuel. And we'll see if it'll at least fire for us tonight. Kind of an early Christmas gift, I suppose. Well, I will get some fuel in that tank. I guess we might as well. We got to figure it out, right, guys? So let me get some fuel in the tank, and uh, we'll probably use well, our 40 to 1 VP fuel. I mean, that's what we've ran in everything. So we'll see if it runs, and then, yeah, keep your fingers crossed, guys. I'm excited. Let me get some fuel in here. Okay, well, we got fuel in our tank. We're going to run around and oil everything. Like I said, I don't know how long it's been since this has been ran. I've never seen it run. And, uh, well, the guy who was selling it, he was just just a seller. He, that's, that's it. So he didn't know. But I guess we're all going to find out together tonight, guys. So we'll get everything oiled up. I'm sorry I'll get out of your way. But not too exciting about oiling up an engine, is there? Um, yeah, 
before we turn the ignition on I will put my finger over the bottom of our mixer down here turn it over a couple times until hopefully my finger gets wet and it pulls fuel not pulling fuel yet Still not pulling fuel. Hopefully we got enough in there. I'll open our adjustment valve up. I haven't cleaned, well, look at the rest of it. I haven't cleaned any of this up. Oh yeah. We got fuel now. I'll put that back about where it was at. And, yep, let's uh, hook up our ignition. You guys ready to see what happens? Oh God. And here I have buzz coil going. I think I flooded the living tar out of it. sit there and boil that plug off a little bit. Oh, it fired. <laughs> well, maybe that's all we're going to get out of it tonight, guys. You know I'm going to stay out here for a couple more hours and monkey with it, right? We may have to clean our fuel system out. I'd like to hear it try a little bit harder. Yeah, I think we got junk in our fuel system. It's sure trying. It's not 
trying anymore. Almost had it, guys. All right, guys. Well, hey, I've taken up enough of your time. At least we got to hear it miss one time. I think we're going to be doing some speed adjustment down here with this governor spring. But, hey, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Um, if you guys are subscribed, thank you. If you're not, you know, just click the button. It would really help me. And uh, once again, thanks again for watching. And uh, Merry Christmas, guys. We'll see you in a day or two.